Well, someone decided that she wanted to be a part of the show today, so I decided to just let her. Um, one of the things that I have mentioned in other episodes is that we definitely, as Montessorians, must take responsibility for keeping good records. Our children's progress records, okay there, our children's progress records are, are, are one of the things that help us to succeed in the classroom and also help us to work in community. They are part of our communication with parents, they're part of our communication with um, the, the educators who have our students after they're in our classroom. And I have mentioned that electronic record keeping is one of the things that I consider to be essential, especially if you're teaching at the elementary level Electronic record keeping is one of the ways that you can stay sane. It will save you time, it will save you trouble. If you are needing to work under Common Core state standards, this can be one of the solutions there. You, you getting enough rest there? huh? <laughs> She's not very interested in record keeping, but I hope that you are. Um, and I hope that if you have not adopted an electronic record keeping system for your classroom and your school, that you will look into that, that you'll look into how to implement that and what would be best for your school. Um, I, I, have, I know there are a lot of different programs out there. There are a couple that I would like to expose you to so that you can consider how this way of keeping your progress records can make your life easier. I've used Montessori Records Express for over three years and have now told dozens of people that I would never lead a Montessori elementary classroom without it. The following clip was filmed at the American Montessori Society West Coast Convention in 2009. Since then, this company has increased its amount of experience to over 12 years, is in almost 500 schools and in over 1,700 classrooms around the world. Whatever program you look at, be sure to ask why their tool will work best for you, and then ask the same questions at any company you're considering. One of the reasons that I have recommended MRX for so many years is because of the collaborative effort that has been a part of this tool from the beginning. They have collected feedback from hundreds of individual educators who have used the program and helped them make it as good as it can be. Take time to get your lesson lists and your reports in good shape before school starts, and I think you'll find once you try electronic record keeping in your Montessori classroom, you will never go back. Hi, I'm Dave Rapkin, and I'm the, one of the developers of Montessori Records Express MRX. And I began building Montessori Records Express in 2002 for my daughter's teacher. Um, I was volunteering in the classroom and I asked my daughter's teacher, how do you produce those conference reports you give us three times a year? And her whole demeanor changed. She began to say, well, I start three weeks in advance. I work every evening and every weekend and I don't get to see my family that whole time. And it was really obvious um, that record keeping was burning her out. So I decided to build her a system so that she wouldn't burn out. And I had no intentions of marketing this system. So unfortunately, before I got it done, she quit. And the real sad part is that when I asked my daughter, name one of your favorite teachers, she always names that teacher. So I don't want this to happen anymore. Uh, so we developed MRX with the help of actually dozens and dozens of Montessori teachers and administrators. Because we're not Montessorians, and, but we are developers of software and have been for 30 years. And we know that we aren't the best designers of your software. You are the best designers of your software. So we always say that if you're an MRX subscriber, you're an MRX designer. We emphasize that we almost expect that you will help guide the direction of MRX. So over the last uh, seven years, we've gone through three different iterations of our software with many, many inter inter smaller iterations. 
It's now in over 300 and some schools and training centers, over 1,200 classrooms. And you can see a map there showing those little purple flags indicating where the classrooms are in Canada and the United States. So, in a way, the best people to speak about our software are all of those little indicators on that map. Uh, these are people that are tr trusting their data with us, and they do that because it, it has reduced the time they spend on record keeping. The original goal was, let's help teachers, like my daughter's teacher, um, reduce the time she spends on record keeping so that she can go home, relax, recharge, and come back fresh the next day.